Hello, uh, so today we're going to be doing IV cannulation. So I've got my sterile field set up with my equipment, got my patient, my alcohol gel. So I start by cleaning my hands with the alcohol gel and then I'm going to place the tourniquet around the arm. Okay, and next I'm just going to palpate for a vein along the area. Okay, and then I'm happy with that vein, so I move on to prepare my kit. So I wash my hands again. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my sterile gloves on. that paper. Okay, so next thing I've got is my chloroprep um, disinfectant fluid, so just snap that and then clean the area where I'm going to put the cannula. Okay, so while that's drying we're going to prepare my flush. So I've got a 10 ml flush of normal saline in my syringe and I've got an extension as well for the cannula. So just going to prime this line, just flushing a small amount of saline through it, making sure there's no bubbles. I can set that down. Next I've got my cannula, so remove the sheath, set that down, and then this time with my fingers on each wing, again the bevel up, I'm going to be doing a more at a 30 degree angle, so I'll just apply some skin traction with my other hand and then insert the cannula into the vein. So I'm looking for flashback, first flashback, withdraw the needle slightly and then advance the cannula, keeping the needle at the same place. So that cannula is now in, so we can withdraw the needle, put that in the sharp spin and undo the tourniquet. Then with my pre-prepared flush, just remove the cap that onto the end of the cannula and then flush that fluid through and it should feel nice and easy to go through. And that's fine and then just put that the clamp across. So next we'll just put the dressing on so there's two strips on the dressing that you can peel off. They go over each wing of the cannula to secure that in place and then there's a central segment to this dressing which remove first and then remove the back of it and placing these two wings either side of the cannula making sure that the entry site of the cannula is visible in the clear pane and just remove this extra paper bit from around the edge and then you would usually date the name when you put the cannula in and just place it on top of the, of the sticker. Remove your cannula, your tourniquet, and then that's all done.